Is your printer ready to go? <laughs> Paper, ink, everything filled up? Yes? That's perfectly fine. What about your freebie download finger? Click, click. Is that working as well? Wonderful. That's just wonderful because then you are ready for the next round of the five digital item swap with Rhonda Winstead, 49 Dragonflies and me, Luise Heinzel. Hi there, welcome to my channel. Whew. Today we have something exciting to do and I'm really, really happy that I can invite you to another round of our five digital item swap that I'm doing with Rhonda Winstead and 49 Dragonflies. A while ago, Rhonda came to the idea that this normal five item swap that we all know is a little bit difficult. You know, this normal five item swap where you take some physical items, I mean <laughs> exactly five physical items, and you put them into an envelope and then you are searching for a partner for this swap and then, then you are shipping the envelope to the partner, you have to wait, you have to pay the shipping and so on and the partner ships um, his envelope to you and then you can open it up and create something with those items. That's a wonderful thing of course, but Rhonda said why not trying to do this digitally so that we also can exchange our items with our viewers. So that means with you, of course. And Barbara and I, we were so excited about that because that's, of course, just a wonderful idea. So Rhonda, if you're watching this, thank you again for this wonderful idea. I absolutely love this idea. And this collaboration was the in the past so wonderful and i'm sure that it will be as wonderful um this time as well i think that was not a sentence but you know what i mean <laughs> i love you and yeah so because we want to exchange our items with you as well that means we have made three freebies what you can see here is the freebie that barbara has made barbara from 49 dragonflies this is the freebie that i have here on my desk and that I have to use today. And this is also the freebie that you can find linked down below this video so that you can download that and join this challenge as well. I have made a freebie as well and Rhonda has made one uh, by herself, of course, as well um, for you. And you can find two videos today on Rhonda's channel, there's one, and on Barbara's channel, there's also one, where they are using my freebie and Rhonda's freebie so that you can find what they have created on their channels and you can find the freebies that um, we have for you there as well. So, um, yeah, let's do that. <laughs> so, um, additionally to the freebie, there are some instructions here. So, five item swap, I think that's clear what you have to do. You have to take the five items that you find on the freebie sheet and then you have to create something with them. But that's too easy for us, of course. So we decided that we want to give you some instructions as well. And that's what you can find on every of our sheets here in a little box. <clears throat> so Barbara wants us to create a tag, easy peasy, <laughs> using all five elements. And those number plates count as one. So that means we have one, two, three, four, five items here, so that this is one item. Add a pop of vibrant color using paints, cutouts, die cuts, etc. I've recorded the German video yesterday and you can see my pop of color here. <laughs> I'm not sure if that will be the same in this video. Let's see. I have no idea what will happen here. Um, you may use images multiple times by printing more than once. So that's uh, what I already have done here. I have printed this sheet several times and also in different sizes. So this is the half um, of the size. 
and I've also printed some of those butterflies that Barbara has on her sheet in different sizes because I know I will need many butterflies today. That's the only thing that I know. <laughs> Add a hand-drawn or painted flower or plant somewhere. <clears throat> Barbara, I think we have to talk about our friendship now. Because what is that? <laughs> I mean, <laughs> what is that? A hand-drawn or painted flower. Are you kidding? I mean, that's... Ah! A disaster for me that's absolutely a disaster for me I'm only kidding I will I will manage that but this is for me it's horror it's the absolutely ah, ah. <laughs> let's do, don't don't talk about that because otherwise I'm losing my motivation to do that <laughs> okay so add something dimensional from your stash for example Buttons, lace, packaging, beads, etc. Enjoy. We will enjoy this, Barbara, even if we have to <laughs> include a hand drawn or painted flower. <coughs> okay, so I thought about how I want to create my tag, in which style I want to create my tag today. And for this, I was totally inspired by Mali's at Mali Design. Perhaps you know her from Instagram. If not, if not, you are missing something. I will link every information about her down below in the description box. I will link her Instagram, her YouTube, the Instagram post that I was inspired by and the video that she has created for that as well so that you can check that out. She is creating the most amazing, amazing things. And she had a post on Instagram where she has created some kind of a picture frame that isn't a picture frame. I don't know how to explain that. And I can't remember how she has named that. But that was so bam for my eyes that I thought one day I would like to try this idea. And <clears throat> I would like to, to yeah try to transport her idea to my project and that what I that is what I want to do today um so Marlies thank you very much for this idea <laughs> I, I'm not sure if I can manage what I'm hoping that I can manage but let's see so Marlies has used these collage tiles by Tim Holtz for her background and she has grunged them up a little bit and then she has created her background and put some other things on top to create a really, really dimensional thing. And I would like to use the collage tiles as an inspiration, source of inspiration as well. And I would like to mix those up with um, the digital paper. So the first thing that I'm going to do is... I'm taking one of these things and these have all the same size. I mean, all those squares in this package have the same size. So the first thing that I'm doing is I'm measuring how big this is. And I did that yesterday, so I know it already. It's one and a half inch by one and a half inch. And that's important for my idea because I would like to cut out those squares or similar squares from the digital paper <clears throat> to create my background. So I'm cutting squares that have, oh, where is this? One and a half inch by one and a half inch. And I'm trying to get multiple areas here from the sheet. I will also cut through this clock and somewhere else so that I have several of the squares. So uh, that will take a while. We will see in a second when I have finished that. Okay, so here we go. I have my squares here. And as you can see, these squares have not so clean edges. My paper trimmer is a little bit broken and he is scratching along the edges here a little bit. But for me, that's good because this way I can get a really, really distressed look of these little collage tiles. And um, I want that. So 
if you don't have a paper trimmer that is broken, then of course you can take a distressing tool or scissors and distress the edges of your squares if you want to have this look. So now I want to place my squares here so that I get the shape of a tag. <laughs> okay, <laughs> please do that. And I think I want to use some of the original collage tiles as well um, for my German video yesterday that I have recorded yesterday. I did that as well and that, uh, that turned out really, really cool, I think. So then I want to distress the edges with some ink. For that, for that I'm using Hickory Smoke Distress Oxide ink because I think that this gray fits really, really well to Barbara's paper and to the rest of the colors. Next, I would like to use this stamp here that comes from this Victorian stamp set by Tim Holtz. And this writing here on this stamp is really similar to what is on the original collage tiles and I would like to stamp with this to some of the other um, little squares that I have cut out from Barbara's paper to make this look a little bit more cohesive. I mean at the moment <laughs> I'm trying to um, create a background of course and I want uh, a look where you can see those single squares but I also want to have a background that is a background. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> so this and this now looks really similar but also different and when this is here uh, and this is here this looks way more cohesive and way more like a background. I mean, this is not a tag yet, yeah? But when I glue that together, I want to have something that is recognizable as a background. So I will go on stamping portions of this stamp here. And um, I also want to include some labels that I want to glue on top of these squares now. For that, I'm using this stamp and this one and perhaps some numbers as well these come from the field notes stamp set also by Tim Holtz and um, I want to stamp that with I guess a brown let's take ground espresso for that and I will stamp um, those little labels to my digital paper here so that I can also include the pattern that the paper has to not only the label of course but also to my little squares Okay, so uh, when we have this, we can start to build our tag because this is not a tag yet. 
<laughs> so I have chosen this a little bit thicker material. I have uh, glued two layers of a little bit heavier paper on top of each other so that this is really sturdy now. And if you want to imitate this, I can recommend that you search for something that has a 90 degree angle somewhere. So like my corner has here, because when I now put the things here down, then it is way more easy to line them up exactly with the edges and get a straight tag shape and everything straight. And now I don't want to only glue those things to my base here but I also would like to raise some of these squares up. This one, this one and this one. So that means we can start with this one here. And for gluing this, I'm using the Junk Journal Glue by Funkelkram. That is a German brand. My friend Jutta, she has this online shop and she is selling this glue, not only the glue, but also this glue and this is really really good for gluing those things so if you uh, would like to check that out funkelkram.de this is the brand so this is also the website where you can find it uh, but I think they don't ship internationally so please check out uh, if you can get that shipped to your country. So these three uh, little squares here, I would like to have them a little bit thicker so that they come out from the background a little bit more. And for that plan, I have glued um, some of the same material that I have used for the base for the tag together so that this is really, really thick, as you can see. And now I'm hoping that this is enough to put these three things on top. <laughs> so I want to... Yeah, that will work. I want to glue them on top here and then let that dry, cut that out so that I have the squares, but way thicker than the background is. Okay, so this looks like this now. A little bit strange, I know, <laughs> but <laughs> to make that a little bit more even, I am taking some sandpaper and I am going around the edges here to make that look a little bit more <laughs> professional, let's say. <laughs> and I am also going around here and uh, scratching the surface of the top layer a little bit. Um, I am realizing that this white edge here is relatively cool. I mean, here it's not so extremely, but, but we can just do it like this. Hmm. I think, <laughs> I think that I really like this white. That looks really cool. I mean, in the camera, you can't really see this dimension. This is really, really high. When this is glued down, I will show you that uh, in detail. But I think we will go with white this time. Um, and I say this time because yesterday I've uh, made that for the German video. When I recorded that, I went with black around this. And I distressed this really, really dark. But I think we can try this and um, go the other way round and try the opposite. And why not using some texture paste? I have this acrylic texture paste here. And I'm just thinking if I can make 
the edge of those squares white and a little bit more yeah textured at the same time don't know if that works but let's see so I'm trying to smear that around here I'm trying to get a little bit of that on top of the edge so I'm taking this to my finger and then I'm just doing it like this I'm hoping that this will stick there I mean if it's not sticking here um, to the edge we can always later on um, put some white acrylic paint on top of this I mean when the texture based is acrylic based then of course we can add acrylic paint as well or go over that with a marker or something like that okay so here we go this looks like a tag now <laughs> I guess <laughs> so I went around with my sewing machine um, and I've made some zigzag stitching here to um, this inner part as well because I think that looks really cute um, to yeah have this feeling that these little squares are sewn together here and there and now this is dry relatively dry and what to do with these little slots here these slots also have this ugly color I think I'm trying a trick that Mali at Mali Design has done as well. I mean, for her, it was not a trick to uh, cover her mistake <laughs> because she had uh, haven't had this problem. But um, she um, has put some distress oxide spray in between of these little gaps there not by spraying but by using this little thing here so I'm using brushed corduroy I think that's a great color for this and she has just ooh, that works really well a little bit too well oh oh look at this re reaction I mean ooh. What is that? Oh, thank you, Marlies. Uh, my goodness. I mean, I'm really new to distress, distress oxide sprays, but I think I have a new hobby. How to get this? randomly practicing 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 <clears throat> don't put it everywhere Louisa even if it looks really great <laughs> okay so now I will quickly dry this with my heat gun and I'm really in love with this green in combination combination a German word in combination in combination with the other colors we have this really oh, cool green here and there I'm trying to get this here as well by spritzing some water oh <laughs> okay. Let the magic happen. Okay, that will become really, really cool. <laughs> No matter if this will become a really beautiful piece in the end, I'm so satisfied. I'm so happy that I can look at these little areas here. <laughs> okay, so <laughs> uh, 
now of course this is really really wide i mean this is standing out now uh, yes i said i want to have that like this but i'm not sure if this white is now still what i want but let's see i will first glue that down <laughs> i'm just asking myself who cares about what i said a second ago I will leave some of the white of this texture paste, but I want to see what happens if I put some of this oxide spray here. And while this is drying, um, I would like to show you an alternative way to make these raised pieces here because I will need some more of those pieces for my project and <coughs> oh, excuse me please I would like to make them with the help of these game chips or how is that called in English I don't know this is really hard this comes from a game um, and this of course is way more easy than what I have done before with these gluing all the paper together waiting for that to dry and then uh, put the top layer of paper on top waiting for that to dry this is way more easy but these are way more smaller uh, than these one and a half inch by one and a half inch collage tiles and that's the reason why I haven't used them for um, the other uh, thing uh, because they are too small <clears throat> um, but for this they are perfect what I want to do next and the um, the plan is I want uh, I mean I have these three raised pieces and I want to break this squared look with smaller pieces like this so that we have this smaller piece that's also a square on this cross in between of four of these uh, yeah. Uh, how can that happen? I think we will go with two, one here and one here. Then we have an odd number, one, two, three, four, five. Um, an, uh, another um, idea would be to take rectangles. So I have these chips in a rectangle shape as well yesterday i made this one i've just glued two of these chips together and then put some of barbara's paper on top distressed that and then it looks really cool <clears throat> of course we could use something ooh, something rectangled as well i mean yeah so we will do that so we have this ready to go that means <clears throat> i have to glue two of these other rectangles together then I have approximately the same height as the squares are but I think that's not so important it looks of course really interesting also really interesting when this is not the same height so one wing is here the other one is here it would be really cool to have a third one that comes from here so I guess and I guess we are going to add some white splatters to the background now and for that I'm using some acrylic paint that I've watered down. Perhaps we can also get a connection between the square and the background by splattering, like I did it here now, a little bit to the piece and a little bit to the background. I think that looks cool.
<clears throat> Next, I would like to add two little shelves <laughs> here to my tag, like this. Uh, yes, <laughs> so this is just um, a piece of, or two pieces of um, book cover. And I've just realized that I haven't used these number plates that Barbara has in her printable. Um, so I have to use those as well, of course, to fulfill this challenge. Don't forget the challenge while you are creating this stuff. So I'm just gluing these because the back side of the book cover looks a little bit strange. The top is black, but this is really shiny and ugly. I'm just trying to dip. Oh, that works really well. I'm just dipping this into my acrylic paint here or actually this is some gesso with water to be honest <laughs> or correctly ah, that is too big that is really i mean what is that <laughs> that is too big to fit in there <laughs> yeah Okay, so while that is drying completely there, uh, we can think about how to glue this to the base. I mean, if I take a piece, I, I will not take this here now because that is still wet. But if I have a similar thing, I want to put that here. <clears throat> of course, I can't glue it only with this little edge here. And also this thing where it will lay on top of it's really small. I mean, that would make a movement like this. It's not possible to glue that. But at Mali Design <clears throat> had a really cool idea. She has used some cubes or how is that called? These dice. I don't know. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? And she had something like this in the end. I mean she had a full piece that was like this and she had also those letters on top and <laughs> this idea is so cute but I don't have those uh, cubes that she had that were, were those little wooden blocks she has called that wooden blocks I guess in her video but I have these um, and I think that I can imitate a similar look with these for the piece that I've made for the German video, I decided to use the letters L for Louise, R for Rhonda and B for Barbara. And I've also included a 5 because this is the 5 digital item swap. <laughs> but I think I can't do that here again because I have a B. And perhaps I have an L as well, but I can't find a second R in my stash here. Uh, so I will try something different. Why not using something else to cover that up, to have these wooden blocks? But who says that we need those letters? So um, I will glue some of these on top of each other. <clears throat> and to cover this wood up and to make that a little bit more interesting I've just came to the idea to take this snippets they, these are these curator snippets I don't know if I say this word right these are by Tim Holtz as well and I'm just just thinking if here are perhaps some squares that would fit here And before I'm putting every, everything together, I would like to add some crazing collage medium to these little blocks here to age them a little bit. But before I do that, I will just go over this with my sandpaper a little bit.
and I also want to have this crazing effect on the little things that I will want to put on top of this shelf and that are these little jars and at the moment I'm just thinking if the crazing medium will hold on top of the glass I have no idea to be honest because I haven't done that before for the other video for the German video I have used crackle paste so then you get a look like this and I have then after that um, put some inks on top to make that a little bit more vintage so I have two of these left over yeah, so if we don't try it, we will never know if that would work. So uh, I will put some of this here. I can't really remember if it is meant to use like this or if it, this can stay here, but we will see. Okay, so and now before that dries, I want to try to use this medium as a glue at the same time to add some labels to these jars and for that I'm using the same ephemera pack because here are really tiny and cute labels that we can use for such a project and now I'm trying to place that here and press that into the medium so that it sticks there because I want to try to yeah, get <laughs> I mean how can I explain that when I press the label down I get a small frame that is raised a little bit like a distressed thing around this label because the medium of course is squeezing out from this label and that seems to work <laughs> to be honest <laughs> I don't know if this if this is what I was looking for but I'm in love <laughs> I really love how these turned out but um, I want to dress them up a little bit and make them a little bit more vintage I'm taking this crayon this is a, a Faber Castell gelato crayon that is a water-soluble oil crayon and normally <laughs> when you go over this crazing medium with a crayon then you could see those little cracks here it hasn't cracked uh, I guess but um, it looks really cool because it has this yeah some kind of broken look I guess you can't see that mm. it's really really hard to see instructions are saying we shall include a pop of color and I guess until now we doesn't have this pop of color this postage stamp here in the background is purple and I'm just thinking if I want to add my pop of color in purple by adding something like this but in purple so um 
<laughs> Can you guess what my favorite color is? So I have this this material. What uh, will happen when I put uh, some spray to this? Can I make that purple by adding some Villainous Potion Distress Spray Stain? <laughs> So I think this looks really, really cool, but I want to add some more really tiny details now to those shelves. They have these tiny beads here in different sizes. They look really cool, I think. And I want to place some of those they are next to the jars. And while I'm doing this, I mean, this is really relaxing, I have to say. <laughs> I'm just thinking if I could take these out again, these little things here, and I could fill up those glasses with these little beads. The glue is not dry. Oh, but, oh yes, it works. I think that could look really, really cool, and I have to try that. Oh my goodness, I think that will look very cute. <laughs> that looks just incredibly awesome. I mean, what the heck? I don't know if you can see that in the camera and I can't turn it around so much because otherwise everything will fall out but I will show that to you in the end of the video in detail. I have put this little thing here back on top but I'm just thinking what will happen if we put some ink into one of these jars? That looks really, really cool. I think I had a relatively brilliant idea. <laughs> I've put some glossy accents into these little jars here to make sure that the little beads can't fall out. This is not dry yet, but um, I think that looks not only really cute, but it's also a way to make sure that this can't fall out. And if you want to use this on a junk journal cover, for example, and not as a wall decoration, um, like I will do it, then of course, um, that would be a great idea as well. Uh, because, yeah, <laughs> you want to move your journal, of course, and <laughs> then nothing can, can fall out. <laughs> do you think that this would look good if we would put this tag to this book so that we later on can hang that to the wall or 
just place it like this to our shelf to have a nice decoration. Oh my goodness, I just, I think I have an idea. Oh, that's the solution. Oh my goodness, I just, I just, oh my goodness. <laughs> I just came to an idea. Oh my goodness. Uh, I like the idea that you have this handy book in your hands. I, I think I can't bring this feeling to you, but I think the most of you know this feeling. You you touch something and you think, okay, that is a great feeling. Your hands are feeling that this belongs together in some weird way. <laughs> And then it has to be exactly like you feel it. And it has to be this book. Yeah. And the main thing is, this green here nearly, nearly fits to this green. We can change that a little bit, I guess, but we can leave it green. But what what is... Um, how can we solve the problem with the purple? I mean, we need a tiny bit of purple, perhaps on the book. And I just thought, why not spritzing this and this with the Villainous Potion um, spray that we've used uh, here, the Villainous Potion ink. going to glue the tag to the book we have to include a hand drawn or hand painted flower and you know if you know my channel and if you know me how big that problem is for me and and I can hear her commenting this I can hear her. I mean, <laughs> when she has sent the sheet, I was like, oh, a giraffe, that is so cute. <laughs> and I was happy um, that she has put this giraffe to the sheet because I really love that image. But um, <laughs> now I'm thinking... I, I totally can't handle that <laughs> because now my idea has changed so much that um, I have really big problems to include that into this idea. <sighs> but perhaps she will be happy when I take her butterflies and create a little flower out of them. Perhaps, perhaps not. Perhaps she will cry or don't talk to me anymore. <laughs> I'm a little bit afraid, but no risk, no fun. I mean, mm. <laughs> okay, so what would you need if you want to create a hand-painted flower? You would need a piece of paper, a paintbrush, perhaps, and some paint. Hmm?
and then you can paint your flower. This is my hand painted flower, Barbara. Yeah, there are no instructions that I <laughs> can't destroy my hand painted flower. I mean, <laughs> you haven't said that we shall include the hand painted flower or plant. I think the the instructions said flower or plant you haven't said that i have to include that as the painted thing i mean there is no instruction that i can't destroy it i mean can you still see it i i can see that it's there it's i mean it's a hand painted painted flower during the night here that is abstract art on its highest level i mean yeah <laughs> and i don't know if you know that but when you do abstract art during the night yeah when everyone else is sleeping then you can meet really really interesting people that can help you to improve your art and to fulfill challenges like this for example harry plotter or lord voldeschottmord <laughs> do you know lord voldeschottmord or harry plotter i know harry plotter very very good and he is doing some magic and then suddenly it happens that your problem is solved <laughs> <laughs> oh my goodness Barbara I'm so so sorry no actually I'm not <laughs> I'm not sorry <laughs> because I think that this will <laughs> become way more awesome than if I would have tried to paint this whole thing by myself <laughs> guess that this is my finished piece for this <laughs> five digital item swap oh my goodness the camera is really close I hope you like this if you want to see some detailed pictures of this then please go to my Instagram I will hang that to my wall I mean, I will not change anything. This is my finished piece, yeah? But if you want to save some images or something like that, uh, please go to my Instagram. I will put some detailed pictures of this there. My Instagram is linked down below in the description box for you. And of course, I would be really happy if you want to follow me there as well. And yeah, so that's it. <laughs> Don't forget to visit Barbara's and Rhonda's channel to see what they have done for this challenge today. The links are down below in the description box as well. I'm sure you will find some really cool ideas there. <laughs> and yeah, we all of course are hoping that you will enjoy this challenge as much as we do. So see you the next time. Bye bye.